Hello everybody, it's back in the studio. It is December 15th, 2022 and I'm working on my top 100 2022 paintings, 100 paintings, the list I have completed and there are some big changes happening in the in the process of uh, or the concept I should say of the 100 paintings how they relate to the top 100 list but I'll talk more about that later the idea of the changes well they had already started somewhat but uh, the, a, 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 an important factor in uh, uh, the changes that I just recently made was caused by me blabbing into this camera a couple of days ago at this very same spot in this very same studio and I was talking about you know some some, some records and uh, whatnot um, so as, as a consequence I started to work on a painting and that caused kind of a, a major like I said conceptual shift summer 13th is the last day of the top 100 2022 I'm about halfway with the painting, the not quite, but almost painting the the, the works that you see here behind me. Uh, they belong to the top 100 2022. The record I just turned on, it's not a very good record. A stereo visit to Italian movies. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I got this record. Not because I was so interested perhaps in the, in the soundtrack from Italian movies but because of the cover it often goes that way this cover is, is it, it, uh, when I was looking at it I thought oh that's actually like really interesting because I mean she's upside down right I mean yeah right side up but then the words are upside down so, um, clearly, this is uh, because it is a shot from above, right? And so, it is not your regular um, orientation, how you would, would see a figure, like, you know, in, 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 uh, of seeing the world looking out through a window. No, this is seeing the world looking from above. Like the bird's eye view or a satellite view, right? And and so in, in art, this is a specific uh, shift in, in orientation that is at the heart of, of what became modern art. From the window view to what uh, Rosenberg, I believe, would call printing press bed view, which is of course a flat surface or a work table. For a flat thing, the orientation is typically north and south the bottom so that that kind of depends on the position then of the person viewing this thing and I'm kind of interested in seeing this to experiment a little bit with, with that and and uh, I may be doing some paintings upside down I will uh, let you know what, what will become of it uh, so in the meantime I not exactly sure how I'm going to go about it, but um, I mean, it's not going to be. I'm, I'm not going to be. Uh, his name is Walter Da, uh, George Thierry Dukupil, one of the. Oh, Bazovich, George Bazovich. Yeah, in the, in the 90s, I think. Uh, he was famous for, like, you know, painting everything upside down. It's, it's not related to, to that at all, but it's. <laughs> it's uh, it has something of course that's a reason for putting it upside down it's exotic right because it's you know it's a woman laying down hmm. the painting I'm working on right now is this one Show it too. it's uh, I, th I think it's number 44 maybe in this series of 100 so almost halfway and uh, these are um, Singers from Nunavut, Canada. I actually wrote down the names of the three women and uh, I have to cheat here because I don't know them by heart. Um, oh yeah. Alasi to Laukak. That one? 
Nelly Nungak and Mary Sivarapek. This one. Sivarapek. Nungak to Laugak. Huh. Anyway, games and songs. Um, I, I, I'm gonna walk behind the camera and, uh, and, and get it pan out a little bit, left and, left and right. That's the beginning. And there's my, my easel. The boxes that you see there in that, uh, in that cabinet and, uh, and there in front of the, the lowest paintings. Uh, those are uh, the last three top hundreds uh, that are all stored in, in these boxes. Top 100 2021, uh, 2020 and 2019 and they have all been done on the same size which is uh, 11 by 14 and that is this year again all double portraits 11 by 14 and here I'm gonna pan to the right and these are the, the newest ones the last finished painting is the one that is like single to the right and uh, these are also uh, two singers of the Katayat, uh, the vocal style of games of the Inuit of Nunavut. Katayat singing, throat singing. This one is, uh, I know this record, it's, it's much better and it's a bit less random even though I, I picked it out from a uh, randomly from from a smaller section that I knew you know were going to be good records so this is Maroc music folkloric du monde it's uh, recorded by GD Sabri and it's uh, it's a French record about Maroc and uh, the 13th of December too is uh, the semi-final of the World Cup. Um, well, this is actually the 14th, the 14th Wednesday, which is the first day of my new Top 100. Um, that there will be a, uh, a World Cup semi-final between Maroc and uh, France. Uh, this one is called Fantasia. Amours et Roses, and it's Berbers, the Berbers, the Fat Atlas, the Atlas Mountains, and uh, so a little bit more. I was, you know, talking about the significance of of uh, where's that other record? Oh, I put it away. Uh, the upside down. Uh, <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> um, yeah, the upside down, or the significance in, in art history uh, about the orientation, the view from the window, which is the, you know the, the, the view of uh, of naturalism of the Renaissance, and uh, you know the flat orientation, the map orientation, uh, which is kind of like the key to abstract art, the grid, as it were. The, representation of the world as a map about information. Uh, another thing that is significant in the history of art that concerns me a lot too is that of um, proportions. And so here's this painting and I just uh, went to the effort uh, of, of uh, uh, because I thought like looking at, at the picture, at the original picture, I'll show it real quickly to you. It's, it's here. It's uh, um, my computer. That's where I've been painting it from, yeah. And uh, and this, uh, staring at, at this painting, that uh, proportions of the people were a little bit on, on the small side. And uh, now I, I did the measurements and compared to the original picture. And, 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 and my interpretation of it is that there's barely any difference. The photograph that I just showed you, 
uh, where those, these three people uh, were on, uh, their proportions are, for all three really, a 6.25. These are just about six. Uh, very close. So, um, which means, on, on average, the human proportions are about seven heads. You know, the head is being used as a unit of measurement throughout art history in terms of uh, painting or sculpting uh, the representation of the figures. The thing that is significant in, in art history is that the representation of the human being in an idealized way, such as it happened in the classics, Rome, Greece, and, and then again in the Renaissance, and since the Renaissance, and in all of, you know, um, New Classicism, Classicism period, uh, they have these, these extended um, proportions of eight heads, or, or even more, uh, depending, you know, like uh, in, 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 uh, when you learn to draw the figure in, in, in uh, fashion design class, you know, they, they make you draw it with nine heads, like very long legs. These are idealized proportions and they come to us from the Greeks. That's our heritage from the classical world. Um, the opposite is the art of the Middle Ages where the heads are sometimes often under six. This makes it much more expressive. It makes it because the face isn't expressive and it makes it much more realistic. It depicts people as they are in the world, more so than an idealized version of people. So real people versus idealized people. It's almost out of batteries again. So, uh, here I am to kind of wrap up this, this video and uh, I was talking about this uh, this idea that would kind of upset my, my uh, concept for the top 100 paintings and this was because you know I was talking about having this this uh, this this record that I was really intrigued by right Italian movies with this upside down picture and I just kind of had to paint it in, in a way um, even though it's not part of the top 100 and then I was thinking like does it have to be because the series of paintings is already becoming somewhat independent from the list that is the top 100 list but this is like well, certainly quite a departure. Well, I found a second, and again, by, by chance, I just like randomly picked the record. The one that you hear uh, uh, playing in, in the background, and it's Ramona Galalarza, it's this one. And like the one with the Italian movies, this is also a, a bit of a strange one in terms of orientation. It is shot from above, and the background is a reflection in the water so that is some trees upside down right because like here now the trees are right side up and she's backwards so these are like uh, they, they intrigue me these these kind of things that belong to the world of photography but i am painting i am not a photographer but yeah it's, it's kind of interesting and, and similarly also you know what a computer does can do to, to images that uh, that kind of excites me as as a painter and so uh, and so i i really wanted these uh, to uh, to combine them onto a painting and uh, i i started doing that and it's, it's right here it, it's just a sketch it's right there. So we'll, we'll see where it goes. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna make that painting. If it ends up being a part of the Top 100 2022 series, is yet another thing, because it is far removed from, uh, from the concept of the 100 paintings. But we'll see. 
um, the one thing is I, I changed the concept already of the series because I did not want to repeat like so many you know there's there's every year there's like a bunch of like musicians or recorders or, or that are in the list multiple times and I don't always want to paint like multiples so I, I took already a big step towards the independence of the paintings that I wouldn't do the repetitions I would just like be much looser and, and how I would found find the, the images to paint and this is perhaps a little bit too loose though but uh, also the, the paintings themselves this year for the first time they are not in in a, a, a ranking there's not a number one painting or a number hundred painting as there always were they are kind of like organized in I don't know how exactly but in a different way than the list is organized with a ranking a countdown ranking so all these issues I'm, I'm dealing with and uh, well, think about it a little more and more importantly I uh, paint some more and the painting will uh, figure it out by itself that's how that rolls all right um, it's evening now good night Bye.